Okay, what I wanted to do today was go over the complex method for integration. We have here a really simple example. We have here just the integral of cosine x dx. Okay, now to get started with this, of course we don't need to do this because we already know how to integrate cosine x dx. This is like one of the first integrals you learn and the integral for this is just gonna be sine x plus c. So my goal in doing this when we do the complex method for this, we wanna get back this same solution that we know sine x plus c. Now I'm gonna do this two different ways. The first way is gonna be more straightforward and easy to explain. So we have down here, well, first we have Euler's formula over here to the right, which tells us that EIX is gonna be the same thing as cosine X plus I sine X. But from this, it's really easy to derive a complex definition for cosine, which we have here. And because we're integrating cosine X, what I can do is just plug this into our integral and just integrate this. And so let's see how that goes. So when I plug this in, what I'm going to do actually first is we have a constant value. We've got this 2. So I'm going to factor a 1 half in front. And because we're adding, I can split this into two integrals. So I can write it as half eix dx. And then the second one, I'll distribute in the 1 half. So for our second integral, we'll have 1 half integral of e minus ix dx. And so next we'll just go ahead and integrate this. And we don't have to really worry about the fact that i is imaginary. We can just integrate it like any constant value. So what's gonna happen is we'll have one half here, e i x, and we just have to take the i into the denominator. And then here for this one, we'll have one half e minus i x, and here we'll have a minus i in the denominator. But next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this minus sign and turn this into a plus and bring the minus up front and write it right here. And so then now having 2i here and 2i here, we have a common denominator. So I'll just put these together. So we'll have this all over 2i. And then in the numerator, we're just going to have eix minus e minus ix. But now at this point, I'm kind of regretting that I only wrote the complex definition for cosine because this here is actually the complex definition for sine. So this thing is actually the same thing as sine x. We'll put a plus c, and that's the same as what we have here. Okay, now for my second method, and this way is probably gonna usually be easier and quicker. Probably not in this case, because it's such a simple problem, but I think in most cases, this is probably gonna be the way to go. So what I'm gonna do is write down my general form for a complex number, a plus bi. And we have this notation that if we wanna take the real part of a plus bi, it's just gonna be this first part, the real part's just gonna be a. And then we also have this notation if we want the imaginary part of this, it's just going to be the second part. It's actually just going to be the B. But then coming over to our Euler's formula, we'll notice we have a complex number in that form where we have it in this A plus BI notation. So what we can do with this, if we just look at the, the real part of EIX, well, that's going to be the real part of cos X plus I sine X. And so this is just going to return our A, this real part, and it's just going to give us cosine of X. But what that allows me to do is coming back to our integral, we can write cosine x as the real part of eix. So now getting back to our integral, using that definition of cosine as the real part of eix, but I actually can bring the real part outside of the whole integral. So now we can just integrate eix. In doing that, you can see why this is usually simpler, because now we just have one term. In the other method, we had two terms. So it's like twice as easy. So anyway, we'll just go ahead and integrate that, but we just need to remember that we're taking only the real part. So the integral of this is just gonna be eix over i. But what I can do is rationalize this to get i out of the denominator. But then i times i is just gonna be minus one. So I can rewrite this again and write it as, we'll bring the i out front. So I'll write this as minus i eix. But then at this point, we can just notice that eix is actually the exact same thing as Euler's formula. So I can just plug Euler's formula in here and see what happens. And now that we have our Euler's formula in right here for EIX, all I need to do now really to finish it is just distribute in this minus I. So let's see what happens when I do that. We'll end up here with minus I cosine X. I times I is gonna be minus one with a minus is gonna give me plus sine X. But now we have this really in our A plus BI notation just in the wrong order, right? We have, this will be our A and this is the BI over here. So we just want the real part of this. The real part of this is just gonna be sine x. And I'll put a plus c on it, and that's it. Okay, just a quick look at complex integration and two different methods. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.